In this video, we'll talk about what's new in DX22 in respect to the new loft tools. Um, so I pulled up a model here that has a great example, uh, that is a great example for the ability to loft profiles in one of the major improvements in the uh, latest release of Design X. One of them is uh, the ability to take these multiple profiles and instead of having to use uh, profile guide curves, you do have the ability to use um, some guide uh, options here without having to create a guide curve. So if I come over to loft, and we'll go ahead and turn the mesh off. And just like you normally would, if you come over here and you click the profiles that you want to select to loft between, You'll notice that when you click, it assigns these little guide balls to where you can assign how the how the software is going to align the guide curve. So obviously, if you pull it over here, you're going to like stretch it and twist it and so on. Now, you'll notice that I picked a very simple model um, as far as this sense that it has uh three different curves that are all the same segments and nodes and everything to make sure that it's a very simple loft. Um, but this is where this, uh, the first piece of functionality comes in, is the ability to add extra connectors. So by default, we've always had just one set of connectors. But what if this doesn't do everything that you want to do for a more difficult loft, which actually here, over here on the side, you'll see that we have a wrinkle on the side, right? Even though these are pretty well aligned. So in the past, you would have to go ahead and create guide curves and utilize those. And sometimes those can be a pain. So with adding extra connectors, I can come in and I can say, I want to add a connector here and drag this around and drag that around and then give it extra guidance without having to create guide curves, which can take a long time. And you can add a bunch. So if I go ahead and add those there, and then, you know, if you're not happy with it, if you want to leave it there, that's fine. But you can say, I want to, this is the direction that it should loft between, like so. And you can go all the way around. So what this will do is create a more consistent, reliable loft with less work, being able to use these connectors. So that's the first bit of functionality. I'll just go ahead and complete it so you can see how it comes out. Right? So I think ideally you would probably want to add a few more. Um, but that is the first piece of functionality. Now the second one is this ability here so a lot of times you'll use a loft to fill in a specific area. Um, so in this instance here, I created this on purpose this way. <clears throat> um, but this is another usage of lofting. And there's another piece of functionality in the loft tool that helps in this sort of uh, situation. In this situation, I want to loft, and I could do it two different ways. I could loft from this profile to this profile and then use these as guide curves. Or I could loft from this profile to these profiles and use these as guide curves. But one weakness of our tool in the past was if I use, if I select these as my first profile, right? And then I select these and make sure I hold shift this time as my second profile, I can do that. Um, but if I then come over and I can turn on tangency to face, tangency to face for both of these, and it will keep tangency on the side, on the two profiles, but there's no, there was no option to keep tangency on these side guide curves, right? But now, once I select those, I actually have the ability to add tangency to those side guide curves. 
So you'll see after I turn on tangency to face, tangent tangency to face for the two side curves, I have the ability to come down and select both of these, these two, and I can say also tangency to face on those guide curves. So one problem that we had in the past was it would have tangency on the sides but not so on the ends, but not the sides, right? So now, when I do so, you get a nice, clean surface between those. So these are the two loft uh, updates uh, for Geomagic Design X 2022.